It's Mrs. Demick's story time. Hi kids, welcome back for another story. Today's story is called When the Fly Flew In. What do you think is going to happen when the fly flies in? Let's find out. In a quiet room, a dreaming dog wagged his tail, a fuzzy cat snoozed, a plump hamster napped in a shoe, and a sleepy parakeet whistled on the bedpost. I can't clean my room, a child whispered to his mother. All the animals are sleeping. I'll clean it later. When a fly flew in, the dog opened an eye, wiggled a whisker, then leaped up to catch it. You see the fly down there? The fly turned left, and the dog's tail sent a dozen dinosaurs sailing. The fly turned right, and the dog's tail swept off a mountain of muddy pants and crusty socks. The fly turned in circles, and the dog's tail pushed off a pile of moldy old apple cores and banana peels. But the fly was always one turn ahead of the dog. Oh no, that room's getting so messy. When the fly buzzed by the cat, the cat streaked after it. The fly zigged, the cat zagged, the fly zagged, the cat zigged. But the fly was always a zig or a zag ahead of the dust mop cat. When the fly stopped to nibble on a cookie, cookie crumb in the closet, the hamster took notice. The hamster didn't care about flies, but he did care about cookies. Ooh, I want that. He shooed the fly away and ate the crumb in the closet. Then the raisins on the radio. Even the popcorn inside of Party Hat. But the fly always stayed one nibble ahead of the hamster. Where's the hamster? Do you see him? There he is. There's the fly. When the fly zipped around the ceiling, the parakeet watched closely because watching flies is a bird's business but she couldn't wait, watch any longer. Oh boy. Zoom, she swooped into a corner full of cobwebs. Zap, she flapped behind the curtains, thick with more webs. The parakeet gobbled up the spiders and, the, and their webs trailed from her wings like, like kite strings. You can see them there. But the fly was always one web ahead of her. In a quiet room, a dog twitched his tail as he dreamed about flies. A cat curled up her coat, licked clean. A hamster settled down for a second nap. A weary parakeet fluffed her feathers. The fly flew out. And the room was clean. Did you catch that? The room got clean because of all that. Let's review. Look how messy it was at the beginning. And when the, when the dog hit all the dinosaurs, they went into the, the toy box. And when he hit all the laundry, it went into the hamper. Did you notice that happening this whole time? And when he hit all of the food, it went into the trash. And then the hamster, oh, and then he dusted everything. It says ahead of the dust mop cat, so the cat was dusting with his fur. The hamster ate all the little crumbs, and the parakeet ate all of the spiders and got all of the cobwebs off of the walls. And by the end of that commotion, the whole room was clean. Can you even believe that? And the room was clean. I hope you enjoyed that story. I'll see you guys again tomorrow for another one. Bye.